Hello, welcome to another vlog. I know I missed last week, but it's fine. We're on it. I was not feeling too well. Um, but today is Monday and it is just a normal day in the life. It's like 10, 15 in the morning right now. The time changed yesterday. So we are still adjusting to that. I got my second set of clear correct trays in. Going well, I'll give you updates on that too. And yeah, it's just gonna be a normal day in the life vlog. But I have something exciting to show you for once. I have a package, so we're gonna open this together. I specifically have not opened it yet, okay? Now, I have seen this brand everywhere and I have been intrigued. And then they reached out to me and they said, let, me, let us send you some stuff. I said, go ahead, look. Have y'all heard of cuts? Apparently their t-shirts are just everything. So again, I specifically did not open this until I was on camera. Cute. The only shirt worth wearing. That's for, this box is nice. It has like a little magnetic closure. Cute. Okay, so. Obviously, I'm gonna open these, but I have the Crew T Classic in Dune and the Crew T Slim Cropped in White. So let's try these bad boys on. Okay, so so far the material does feel quite nice. Just like a very standard staple piece, but like high quality. It is kind of thicker like you can tell it's not like cheap right uh, but not too thick i don't think it's gonna be super thermal or anything i got mediums let's put this bad boy on better make sure i don't get makeup on it Ooh. hopefully i didn't get anything on it okay this is cute very comfy feels nice there's where it hits love it the sleeves are not too tight i think i'm gonna train in this today actually i'm training legs which means we gotta wear a shirt Okay, very nice, very nice. Now the second one I got is in this Dune color. Again, the Dune one is the Crew T Classic and the one that I am wearing is the Crew T Slim Crop. So this one is probably a little bit more fitted. Let's put on the Dune guy. Okay, so this one is not as cropped. It's more of like a full length situation, a little bit more relaxed fit, but I love it. Again, these are like very basic staple pieces, but again, high quality. So I would say they live up to <laughs> all the hype that I'm seeing. I've seen people, like I've just seen cuts everywhere. So very exciting. Love these. And they actually gave me a discount code for you all. So I will link that in the uh, description box below and you can shop through there. Otherwise, I'm going to keep working today. I'll give you updates here in a little bit. Um, and let's go. Child. He always follows me. Oh. You wanna come this way? He saw me creeping on him with the camera. <laughs> you gotta come over here, dude. Um, so it's a couple days later, and the reason I'm continuing the vlog today is because I am getting my hair done today. So that is an exciting thing that I get to show you. I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing just yet um probably by the time you watch this i will have already showed my hair on instagram but whatever man we're not doing anything crazy but i wanted to show you so i'm wearing the cuts one of the cuts shirts that i showed you earlier and i forgot that it has the cute little x right here so very minimal branding again just super high quality um this white shirt is very like i like it because you can't obviously see through it the sports bra that i'm wearing is like a purple color so you have no idea and I just think it's really cute, trendy, flattering and yeah, I'm really excited about them. So anyway, um, I just went on a little walk. I've had a very productive morning, signed another client this morning. I have not taken a sales call in months, but home girly just DM'd me this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm going to hop on a call with her and she signed up. So that is very exciting and it just reminds me why I do what I do. I love connecting with you guys. I love connecting with my clients. I am so 
grateful for every single client I have ever had and just like my ability to work with people and help them do the things that they wanna do and reach the goals that they have. Um, this girly in particular is really needing a reverse diet after coming out of a prep and her current um, coach is very much not reversing her the way that she should be. So I'm really excited to support her with that and really just improve her relationship with food. That was what we talked about. And I don't know, it just made me feel really good this morning. So I'm happy about that. Again, I had a really productive morning and it is like 11.30 almost right now. I have an accountant meeting at 1.30 and then my hair appointment starts at 2.15 and it's apparently gonna take a while. Don't worry, we're not like chopping it off or anything. That's not my vibe. I'm just gonna be completely honest. It pains me when girlies have really long, beautiful hair and they chop it off. Now I understand that it's their hair and they can totally do whatever they want. And my opinion doesn't really matter, but I just have this like anxious attachment to my hair because I have trauma surrounding haircuts. When I was little, one time for my birthday, my mom was like, we're gonna do like a surprise for your hair or whatever. And so they like spun me around and I was just apparently not paying attention to what was going on. She's like, are you ready to see your new hair? And they spun me around and they had chopped it all the way up to here. And I just immediately started crying. I was so sad because I always wanted really long hair, like my neighbor slash friend when I was little. So now I just have this anxious attachment to my hair and I just always want it to be longer. And that's my whole hair situation. But aside from that, that is my day. And I wanted to give you an update on my clear correct because I know I promised that. And so I'm on my second set of trays now. I wore the first ones for two weeks. I'm wearing these ones for two weeks. And in the future with upcoming trays, they said that I can get bumped up to 10 days. So that's really exciting because if I can plow through like three trays a month, dude, I'm gonna shorten my time exponentially. They told me to expect a year, but one, with the number of trays that I have, I think I have like 19. Um, it's not, it, the, the math ain't mathing, okay? Um, but also, I know that like, I'm very compliant with wearing them. My teeth move very quickly, and especially if I get bumped up to the 10 days per tray, then I feel like I could be done by like summer of next year, which would be really nice, but they've seriously been fine. I've had braces way back when, not nearly as painful. The first trays were pretty uncomfortable, I will not lie, but it's because it's the first tray, right? Like it's moving everything to where you need it to be to start, and you're getting used to having these things in your mouth. So I didn't sleep very well <laughs> the first night, and it was like uncomfortable for a few days, but. You get used to it and then by the time I was ready for the second trays, they were like, not loose, but just like very easy to take in and out. And with the second tray, trays, of course they were tight for like a couple of days, but even now it's been, today's exactly one week and super easy. So um, I have another week in these trays. And the other thing is at my appointment a week ago today, they put these buttons on my teeth. I have the trays on right now, but you'll still be able to see. I have like two up there, two down there two and two um and that just helps move things along quicker it like basically increases like the leverage or, like the surface area for the trays if that makes sense um, but what they're also doing with my molars is like bringing them out to like broaden my smile and like fill out my smile so that's cool but yeah my teeth have definitely moved a significant amount i feel them moving very quickly and I'm just really excited. I'm so happy that I'm doing this and they're really not a big deal, like at all. So if you're thinking about investing in Invisalign or Clear Correct, which is what I use, um, they're basically the same thing, then I would say it's very worth it just based on having them for three weeks. And I'm sure at the end, I'm gonna be like raving about it. So if you are in San Diego, or nearby, I go to Sarah Winter Dental in La Jolla. Beautiful office, wonderful staff. Dr. Sarah Winter is incredible at what she does. Like she was able to look at my teeth and my gums and everything that first day and like explain so much to me. So that was lovely, but highly recommend. And yeah, that's my clear, correct update. So there is that. Um, I'll have another like health 
update soon. I'm going to the natural pass on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So that is very exciting, but I'm feeling good. My periods have been very easy, cramps very mild, fatigue mild. Like I was a little bit tired the last time, but nothing like they used to be. You guys know I used to like literally seize from my period cramps earlier this year. And really ever since I restored my period in summer of 2020. So for a year and a half there, I, uh, well, even like almost two years, cause I didn't start going to the naturopath until May. Your girl was struggling. That was not fun. And it's just, you don't know until you know. So anyways, loving my naturopath journey. I'm really hoping to reduce the amount of supplements I'm taking one because it, they cost money. And I'm just, I've invested a lot of money into my health this year, which is always fine with me, but we're looking to pull back. So I'm going to ask her on Friday. Hey, can we like, can I finish up some of these and like call it good? Um, but basically the progress so far is that we're still just really working on my gut and really getting rid of these little suckers, these little parasites, um, and really optimizing everything. Cause when your gut is optimized, then your hormones are optimized. They go hand in hand because a lot of your hormones are converted in your gut. So as far as period and like hormone regulation goes, that's all fine and dandy. We're still just clearing out my drainage pathways and my whole GI tract, but we're on the right track and it's very exciting. So those are my mid video updates for you. And I am going to just kind of get some work done, get some content done. I'm really, really trying to stay consistent with TikTok because to my understanding, you can just grow a lot faster on there and more people see your stuff. And that's just like, that's what excites me about social media is people engaging with my stuff. Like literally, I love that I have my Instagram community. It just hasn't grown in so long and I don't want it to seem like I don't care about the community because I love you guys. I love you so much, but I want to grow the community too, you know? So anyways, plus there's just like more opportunity on TikTok. So I don't know, we shall see. But like I said, those are my updates. I'm going to get some stuff done and I will most likely see you after my hair appointment. I just now remembered that I was vlogging today and I'm here to show you <laughs> my new hair. I was there for not quite three hours and I was so hungry I came home and I had to slam a quesadilla. So there's that. But here's the new hair. I know it might not look that different to you, but we have some more life here. We have some more fun. And basically what we did is I had a few grays. Okay, I had a few tinsels going on in here, which really have been bugging me. So this is the first time I've colored my hair. She just did like the roots, my scalp. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to cover, but I'm happy. Hopefully I don't find any more in there. I mean, I just, this is the first time I've done this. So I just have like trust issues, but she made me feel really good. And she was a great stylist and everything. So I'm excited to have those taken care of because literally no matter where I parted my hair, you could see a gray, you could see tinsel in there. And it was just, I know it's the, the tinsel season, but come on, you know, so I got it colored and then we also um, used a toner that makes it really shiny and just like made the color more vibrant. She was telling me, I don't know, I'm new to this stuff. I'm the lay person that doesn't know how it works. So anyways, we did that. And then we also cut some shorter like face framing pieces here, which is exactly what I wanted. And then just like a little bit around the face. Now, nothing too drastic. It's really fun. I'm going to have to get used to it, but I love it. And <clears throat> originally I wanted, <laughs> I, I learned that what I wanted was a little ambitious. <laughs> so I wanted to do long layers because my hair was just like one big chunk and I have this like anxious attachment to my hair. I think we talked about that, but I was like, it's time for some fun. I want some long layers and I didn't want to lose any of the lengths because what did we just talk about, right? I like my hair long. And I also wanted to do curtain bangs. Well, <laughs> she told me since I am not used to styling my hair every day, that curtain bangs would be a little ambitious and she didn't want to like cut them in and then me get like tired of them and like not style them every day. And then I have to wait for them to grow out and it would just like not be a good time. And I was like, listen, I trust your, your expertise. You are literally the expert here, the professional. So just be realistic with me. And so she's like, let's just start out with like face framing pieces. So that's what we did there. And then with the long layers, apparently the 
bottom part of my hair, like on the nape of my neck, is shorter than everything else. And so if she did the layers, I would have lost a lot of length. And I was like, okay, no, we ain't doing that. So now we have to wait for the bottom part of my hair to grow out. I think it's from putting it up all the time. So I'm, I try to be mindful of like using a scrunchie or like a clip sometimes. And like, maybe I'm just gonna focus more on like no more high ponies and just having them low. It's gonna be founding father season, I don't know. But yeah, so that is the update. This is the hair. I love going to the hair, going to the hair, <laughs> going to the salon and getting my hair done because first of all, the scalp massage, I wish I could have that every single day. Secondly, someone else is doing your hair, right? You don't have to do it. And thirdly, the products smell so good. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. But anyways, that's the hair. That's the updates. Those are the updates. And it is six o'clock now and I'm just very tired because the sun has set. So my body thinks it's time to go to sleep and I need to just like sign off for the day, wrap up whatever work I have and then I'm gonna shower and chill on the couch. But I did wanna tell you guys, I finished a happy pocket full of money. I know I've been talking about this book a lot. I started it in Hawaii, I believe. Um, so that was like almost two months ago and then I took a little break, but I did finish it a couple nights ago. I'm just gonna say it. I think this might be the best book I have ever, ever, ever read. It is linked for you in my Amazon storefront. This is so good. Not only about just money, but like abundance in general and how the world works and how your mindset affects your reality. And just, it explains everything so well. Like this book just makes you feel like everything's gonna be okay because it is, because it really is. So I would highly recommend this. I've gotten some of you guys on it already and yeah, it's so good. So anyways, that is where I'm going to end this video. So as always, if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.